He just handed me the mic and said, sing. That's it. And I sang It's My Life was a song. It's all because AF used to do it a long time ago. And it's actually an animal song. And it's cover. It's They change it up to a hardcore style. He liked it. You know, he was uh, the very first time when he was seven years old, he did a show at Great Gillis. He was uh, Agnostic Friend GBH. I don't know if he explored it play that day. I can't remember, you know. But anyway, um, you know, ever since then, he liked it, you know. He loved coming along with me. He used to write me letters, oh, I want to come live with you, you know. He, he like, he looked up to me a lot, you know. I was his older brother, and I was never really with my family. I, you know, they went a certain way, I went a certain way ever since I was 15 years old. But he would always come every summer, to, you know, up here with me. And he just... Every time I go to Florida, I pick him up or I take him on a road for a few weeks, you know. He liked it, you know. Agnostic Front was one of his favorite bands. The concept came around, I'd say when I was about 11. And actually, Vinny and Roger and them came up with it. And I, they were like, hey, you, you know, you should do a little thing, you know. Being that I always would come up on stage and sing a song with them, hey, why not? So they, they got it together and then I just did it. And that was that's how Madball got created. Well, you know, if you're in a band, you know, the whole being in a band, a hardcore band, is, is, is rough, you know? Being in any band is rough, you know, but being in a hardcore band, especially, especially years back. You know, hardcore music is very underground, you know? It's probably the most underground music there is out right now. And a lot of people don't pay respect to it that much, and, you know, bands struggle. <laughs> Torn in a van, sleeping, living in it. Sometimes they don't make enough money to even eat. <laughs> it's not as bad now, you know, 95. But I'm talking, like, years ago, I remember when AF was torn, like 80, 84, 85, 86, those years, those were rough years because I would go on the road with them a lot, you know, and I didn't suffer as much because I wasn't actually in the band, you know, you know, little kids. I was, yeah, I was like on a camping trip, you know, I was hanging around, you know, didn't think anything of it, but now I'm older and, and I got my own band. And I realized that the road, you know, does a lot to you. It ages you, you know? That's Freddie Madball! That's the new king right there! I remember one time, it was a bad boy show at Wetlands, and I stole a bunch of the towels. Oh, that was the show you know we played with them. You know Puerto Ricans gotta steal shit when they go to places, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I stole a bunch of those towels and, you and had them in his with, backpack. And I had it in my backpack, and I dove, and my backpack opened all the towels all over the place. And my girl runs over, and she's like helping me get all the towels and shit, putting it back in my book bag. Whoa! Open up the closet! I just see what I'm saying! Don't give an answer, just get open up some things! As soon as you got your problems all laid down! Open up your eyes! And take a look around, you stupid! Misread it! And put away! So how long have you been playing guitar for? Um, about six years. Since I was, uh, I'm 18 or... Help me out, fellas. Six, um, fifteen years. Yo, all this time I thought you were 
my fucking bush. You were just stuck in my back. You're gonna burn. Now fight, motherfuckers. You got to go through my day. Fuck on my face. Business. Won't get nothing. Now fight, motherfuckers. You got to go through my day. Fuck on my face. Business. Won't get nothing. One more time. Got me on Yo, you ever got an ass whooping bath bad? You ever got fucked up real bad? So you couldn't sit down? <laughs> Damn, yo, I, I remember I once I told my mother if I could go outside, she said no. And I thought I was bad, and she told me, she told me some shit, go to my room and shit, and she started hitting me. I know I said something, she started hitting me. And I try to be all bad. I was like, yo, man. My mother said, yo, man. <laughs> she went to the kitchen and got the broomstick, yo. Fuck, me, fuck my shit up, man. She got a broomstick with a hang out the head, yo. <laughs> She's fucking me up with that shit, man. I had welts and everything. Yo, she beat me into a fever. Man, I had like 103 fever after she kicked my ass. <laughs> I ain't even want to go outside for the whole week, man. I ain't even ask, man. What does your mom think about what you're doing? Oh, she thinks it's like the biggest waste of time, like ever, like the biggest, like, because my mom always hated everything I did, when, regardless of what it was, no good, except maybe like when I played sports when I was real little, maybe she liked that, but probably not even, but I, I came home with the record, and I was like, yo, yo, check this out, this is our record, and she was just like, oh, th this is this is what you do with your time, it's that, that, that CBGP nonsense. 25 years old now, though, you know what I'm saying, my mom seen me do a lot of stuff. She ever see you play live? Nah. Nah, nah. She has about you know. She knows what's up with the band. Though. She, you know. I don't think she. I don't think she really handle it though. My mom's yo. I used to man. I used to write all over my jackets. One day, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a story, mom. Man, you fucked that word, the mother. Yo, my mom's didn't want me wearing the vest anymore because it had like writing all over the place, like you know, um, hail Satan and all that fucking stupid writing. So one day she tells me, don't wear that vest to school, damn it. So she made me put a regular jacket on. So I come home from school and, and I, <clears throat> I get off the bus and I see this bum like wearing my vest and shit, man. <laughs> and I was like, yo. So I ran home and I look at my closet and, and my mom's had thrown it away and the bum was looking through the garbage and took my vest and put it on. That's some shit. That's some motherfucking shit, man. What was your childhood like? Pretty normal, you know. Well, not normal, you know. When you know, not every seven-year-old goes up on stage with a, like a hardcore band and you know sings hardcore and goes on tour and stuff like that. But uh, aside from that, it was pretty normal. Pretty normal. Nah, I'm not high, nah. What's I mean, I had like a good, you know. I mean, you know, I always lived like a normal life, you know. I mean, I just looked at him, but my life was normal, you know, like my parents worked, you know, I mean, whatever. Uh, they got a divorce, that's like normal. Every, every like, every family, every, every kid I, I talk to now, basically their parents are divorced, you know. You saw my mother, man. My mother's a big lady. She fucked me up. <laughs> so when I, when I got 18, got my first tattoo. So does she get mad when you come home with new oh, tattoos? Oh, yeah, the other day she saw the, I have a new tattoo. My back, and she was flipped out, like it, like it matters. Yeah, I told her I was gonna get my, my neck tattooed and she flipped out. Are you really gonna do that? Yeah. What, what are you gonna put? Uh, my brother that passed away, got his name in Hebrew. What happened to your brother? Uh, committed suicide. How old was he? 21. Two years, like a year and a half ago. Down over here, me and my man Kevin Smith, you know, he's from Fahrenheit 451. And um, we were walking, we were mad young, we were chilling. And then this guy got bucked. And right in front of us, and we was like, oh, oh. So we tried to walk around it, and he got bucked again, so we, you know, ran. How did he commit suicide? I shot himself. In your house, or? Yeah. In this apartment right here? Well, was anybody home when he did it, or? My whole family. I wasn't. But they were all there? Yeah. How old were you the first time you saw someone, you know, dead or, or get killed, or? About, uh... Like eight. And how'd you feel? What, what'd you think? She was whack. <laughs> she was mad whack. What happened to that guy? 